Copilot in VS Code has finally a new feature that lets you select multiple files and do changes in all of them with a single prompt. But let's see how it works. First of all, the new feature can be enabled with a button here you can find on top of your screen. You can open the chat that is basically the old chat we already know, or always from here, from the drop-down menu, you can open Copilot Edits, which is basically a new tab here on this side panel, which is the one that lets you edit in multiple files all at once. These three files, I added them by drag and dropping them from the Explorer view, but you can obviously also select files here manually from this button. Or something that I actually really like is by clicking at files, you will find that the first option is open editors. So that with a single click, you're gonna end up with files in the working set that are maybe the files you were already working in. But let's give it a try with a real prompt. This is a simple events board. There are some comments and I want my feature to be add a like button to the comments. Let me add some more context to the prompt to make sure that each comment should have a like button. The user can click the comment and the button should keep track of each user who liked the comment. I'm expecting it to just show the counter to begin with. And this, by the way, what it generates the code is a Tanstack startup that is basically using React under the hood. So here it already generated some code and you can see that there's this new special icon identifying that there might be some changes generated by Copilot Edit. You can also find it here in the tooltip. There are pending changes from VF Copilot. Let's analyze them one by one. You can click here to directly jump to the changes and you can either accept or discard them. But let's try to accept because this one seems understandable. I can also check the schema, which seems fine. I can see that the comment mutation is there. And also the comment board is now using this um, like mutation. And it tried to, yep, there it is. It added the new button here to show the likes. Here I can obviously accept the changes one by one, or I can click the accept button and everything should be fine. And here I can save everything to try it on the browser. But I see there's still an error. Actually, it is not in the generated code, but on the existing code. And the error is that the property like is missing, but it is now required. And I think we did that here in the change on the schema. So let's try to fix this directly with Copilot Edit, since I still have all the files here in the working set and I haven't clicked done yet. So make sure the likes array is optional. And with that, I'm expecting this array to get this without optional and the error should just go away. But let's see what Copilot is gonna generate for me. Well, first of all, it obviously started from the schema.ts file and it is generated the changes. Now I see, yep, there it is. It is now optional and I can accept this change. But now I see that there are some more errors. For example, here, comments.like is possibly undefined. Well, I can try to fix it with Copilot since it's already there. And yeah, that seems an understandable fix. And also here, I'm expecting pretty much the same. So comment like is possibly undefined and I can easily fix that. Yep. So if there are no likes, it tries to um, set an array and then keeps working like that. And it seems okay, but before clicking done, let me refresh the browser and let me see what happens here. So if I open the comments again, yep, I see that there's a like button now. And if I click the like button, I see my like appearing. I can like whatever post I want, but if I click again, nothing happens. But since I'm already here with all the files in the working set, let me try another prompt to see that, well, every time I click again on a button I already like, I want the like to go down. And with that, it is basically doing the change here. So it, it is gonna update the like comment mutation, this one, to handle um, removing the like. And yep, there it is. It is also updating the board, the the component, see, see the code generation. So I can accept the changes. And if I refresh the page again, I can try again to open the comments. If I click like, the like counter will go back at zero. So now I can click like on all the comments and obviously get back to zero every time I remove the like comment. 
With that said, if you want to get the latest updates in your Visual Studio Code, make sure to download the Insiders version, where you're gonna get updates basically every single day about VS Code, including the latest Copilot features in preview. And if you also want to stay up to date, let me recommend you to subscribe to my channel to get other overviews like this one. Thanks for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye!